gracious people of Chicago. Yes, there is more to the sugar cubes than British press hype. On stage at Chicago's Cabaret Metro, in the middle of a heat wave, with lead singer Bjork suffering from strained vocal cords, they still managed to convert a club full of concert goers. The band itself was happy to be here at all, having encountered all kinds of hassles with U.S. immigration authorities. We really couldn't uh, fill out uh, the forms. The forms. And then they realized we were not communists but anarchists, so they let us in. And what do they make of Americans now that they're here? That's right very um, express expressive mm. and very sort of uh, quick about thinking and very quickly analyze how they feel and and talk very much about it talk fast and act mad despite all the acclaim for their album life's too good the band dislikes being labeled rock's next big thing do we like, look like you too no beatles. we don't mm. yeah we look like the beatles if anything well, maybe. In any case, some U.S. concert critics apparently didn't know what to expect from this group live. We actually sounded like rock and roll. You know, they expected, you know, some hallucinations and, and we sort of uh, dissolving into... Uh, Eclus and and and, and squealing. And I don't know what, what they expected, but um, obviously not um, human beings. After the show, though, Chicago fans seem pretty impressed, nonetheless. I thought it was electrifying. She's so just hot and she loses sexuality. It's just incredible. It was like a wonderful foreign movie without the subtitles. We okay. 